Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show from the AshleyMadison.com studios, Lower Manhattan. Talk to feel good. And uh, Pablo Francisco here is going to be at Gotham Comedy Club on 23rd Street, great club here in Manhattan this weekend. Excellent. So Letterman's leaving. Can you believe that? You never did. You did Leno. You never did, did, did Letterman. Leno. See, I did Letterman, never did Leno. Oh, really? Yeah. Leno was cool, man. He was like, you know, get, get you behind, get you backstage. Anything you want to talk about? Yeah, he does. See, Letterman doesn't do that. He just he waits till you get out there, and it's intimidating. It is. Really. But uh, I love. I mean, you know. He came out when I was in the ninth grade, and I just loved the guy. I just I, I stayed up every night, watched every one of his shows. Oh yeah, man! It was when he great. was on at twelve thirty, but it says that well, he's not going for a year, <laughs> you know. Well, it's not even they're they're not even certain exactly when. Yeah, there's no date. Twenty fifteen. But they have uh, names here, like uh, most of, uh, you know, Lovely. possible names. Right. Ryan Seacrest. How could that possibly? No. Be? What's he gonna do? What's yeah. he gonna do? Is he, uh, yeah. But I guess. But I mean, look, the guy's insanely popular. Hmm. Chelsea Handler. Yeah. I'll tell you right now. I'll leave show business. <laughs> Not that well, I'm in. You know, it. she's hanging up. Uh, if she, Chelsea Handler, uh, if Chelsea Handler gets that job, I'll get into show business. <laughs> Chelsea lately is is uh, ending. I know. After eight years. So it's more bad news. Ouch. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, listen. I thought I thought it was Craig Ferguson. That I don't see her appeal. I mean, she's not not funny, and she looks like Nick Nolte. <laughs> what? Stephen Colbert. That'd be funny. Uh, he's the he's him or jo John Stewart's on this list. John Stewart or Colbert are the two most likely people. Maybe. Jay Leno. That's just how much work you're gonna do. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how was it news today? <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld. What what's it gonna take to Jerry Seinfeld has a billion dollars? Come on. Here you go. He's gonna want to go to work every night. Give me a break. Amy hey. Poehler. Amy Amy's Poehler. hilarious, but I don't know if she'd want to do that. Jimmy Kimmel. He's at ABC. Arsenio Hall. Yeah. Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris. This Ouch. is how you know uh, we're getting more and more effeminate. Neil Patrick <laughs> Harris is is this generation's James Caan. <laughs> Isn't he play like a womanizer on that show? He plays like a womanizer on that yeah, show, right? Okay. It's a little bit of far fetched, uh, but uh, did anybody, by the way, was anybody a fan of How I Met Your Mother? Did you watch that yeah, show? No, never have. I watched. The, I read a review in the New York Times about the finale, and they they made it sound like it was like one of the best shows ever. Did anybody watch that? I've never Every once in a while. Yeah, 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 it was all right. I'm curious what it was about. Really, I like that Siegel guy. Yeah. Um, who, the forgetting of Sarah Marshall guy. Jason's yeah. on for yeah. a long time. And Neil Patrick guy is a talented guy, but I'm saying it's like it's funny. He's like the womanizer. Um, but he's a, I guess he's a good host too, you know. But Letterman is, it's just kind of sad. You're getting old. Conan O'Brien, maybe. Andy Cohen. Is that the Bravo guy? Yeah. <laughs> God. The Bravo. What next? The Allstate guy. Are you in good hands? Welcome to the show. <laughs> this is Paul Schaefer. <laughs> he's on, he's he's down with Allstate stand. Are you down? Who's uh, that? That'd be that. Who's that guy who does the Allstate commercial? Are you in good hands? Today on the show we have Benny Hill. I and, I, I, I absolutely love your sequitur, your non sequiturs. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Yeah, just about Michael J. Fox into the the Allstate guy. <laughs> Allstate guy. I just said he'd be on the show. Give I it just, up for Paul Schaefer. I just said I just. I said, Conan O'Brien, you went into the Allstate guy. Why not? <laughs> it's A-D-D-E-F-G-H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P. <laughs> so now you, you, you're shooting another special? Yeah, we're shooting another special. It's called uh, Here We Go Again. And it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be with that, um, we're thinking with Comedy Central, is that we're working with them and they're probably working with And yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm doing one in June for Comedy Central. So yeah, so we'll see how it goes. It's going to be, you know, make fun of everybody and yeah. different topics and mix around and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be fast paced. Do you like the life on the road uh, doing stand up still or do you want to get something steady in mm. LA, maybe a show, or do you like the road? Yeah, my man, I love the road because my manager owns all the clubs. So I just go there, hey, can I work these clubs? Who's your manager? Robert Hartman. He runs, he runs oh. like all the clubs out there. He goes, I'm going to conquer all the clubs, but he's uh, one of the best managers to work with. And he's Is like, that an impression of him? Yeah, I talk like this. <laughs> Papa, well, listen, you're really man. big uh, over in Europe, too, right? In Amsterdam I got, yeah, and. Got All lucky, over. yeah. I was. Uh, you do, do what do you do? You do theaters there, or clubs? Huge uh, yeah. clubs and stuff. And we just got done doing a 19 city tour in uh, Sweden. It's all sold out. Oh, that's got to be fun. Oh yeah, Polish. We went and did Poland. Uh, we're doing Poland soon, and we did, of course. Uh, 
We did uh, Norway and Finland and all now, that. Now, can you do Polish jokes in Poland? <laughs> you know what? Is that allowed? Well, we tried to leave the airport, but it landed in the same place. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you should do that after every joke. <laughs> every joke. I but, did stand-up uh, in Scotland and uh, England. Before I, and I, that, that was I was a ton of fun. Oh yeah, man! And the guys they want to drink with you afterwards. Come on, what are you gonna do? Come yeah. on, come on! You're gonna go run back to your mother. A Is guy in Scotland. No, a guy in Scotland. I felt I felt very effeminate. A guy in Scotland, <laughs> like at 5 a.m. I wanted to go back to my hotel and he called me a tart. Yeah, because you yeah. don't be a tart. <laughs> what are you doing? Wow. Run back to your mother. Rickety crux. Drinking warm beer till six in the morning and. They all sound like Craig Ferguson. Is he Irish or was he? What is he? Is it Craig he's, Ferguson? By the way, he's the number one guy. He's he's, he's allowed. He, they have to offer it to him first. Really? Letterman. Yeah. He's got the rate of first. Oh gosh. Yeah. He's just gonna walk out. Yeah. Good at your rooks and your rockety reeks. And when you rock and your rooks out, huh? Rickety reeks. Does he say anything funny? You know that day I saw some reeks. And when you tell your rooks, it kind of rocks. I mean, Rickety rooks. You gonna try and argue with that? <laughs> I think he's Scottish. Scottish. Yeah. Yeah. He thinks he's cool because he talks that way. Rickety rooks. You get your rooks. I heard he, impro <laughs> he improvs the whole show. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. you can tell sometimes, you yeah. know, just. But during that two and a half years, nothing gives me any. any you know what he's saying. You just. <laughs> Rickety rooks and you know what rooks. You got back and rook. <laughs> reeks. <laughs> I don't understand it. Reeks. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a word. It's yeah, like no, I, I felt very like, uh, like I felt like they were going to put a skirt on me and like <laughs> put lipstick on me if I didn't stay past 5 a.m. They were very like tough, you know. <laughs> Don't be a tart! <laughs> you put a skirt on, went to the Radisson. I went to the Radisson, the guy goes, can I take it? was like a guy who looked like one of these bullies I had in, in high school. He had a little skirt on. <laughs> it was like, it's kind of strange. Like, hey, he's tough, tough, tough. Mm. <laughs> it's funny. Mm. Are you married? No, I'm single when I'm drunk. <laughs> but uh, like I say, well, you, I'd love for you to argue with your wife and just do all those voices. <laughs> do, do the voices that are. No, I'm single, man. I'm going to stay single, man. I'm not sick and tired of where you've been and... All kinds of stuff, maybe you know, occasional strippers. Yeah, so where there. you been? Ricky Rick! Rick. <laughs> it be Ricky Rux and I Rux. Go back I, to the room and crackety cracks. Listen, Paula, thanks for coming, buddy. Thanks for having Come me. Come back anytime, man. Thanks, man. At Gotham this weekend Come on, on yeah. 23rd Street. And uh, what was your, do you have Twitter? What's your Twitter? The Twitter is Pablo underscore Francisco. Don't get psycho. Just call up and, you know, I, I keep in touch. It's, you know, we'll switch heads. It's called Switch Heads on Fridays. So check it out. At good. Pablo Francisco and, uh, Back after this. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.